brand new molds for you that you are gonna absolutely adore. Now, Zuri is new to us here at Hachanda. Uh, now, it's not widely available at all in the UK, so we are very, very excited to have them. Now, look at these beautiful samples. Let's take a little look at these. They are absolutely fantastic. I have got my mic on, haven't I? I'm getting panicky. Right, look <laughs> at these. Nice. Look at the Phoenix. It's awesome. And then there's an amazing, amazing owl that we've got for you. Look, here's another one. Can I just say a big thank you, obviously, to Catherine, who's going to be doing the show, but also to Joe Channon. Glad you're feeling better. And the lovely Mark, who've also been doing these gorgeous samples. Aren't they amazing? Look at this. He's so cool. Um, okay, Meg is telling me already we are getting super busy for these moulds. Like I said, Zuri, brand new company, not widely available. And I just think you are going to absolutely love them. Uh, right, so let's have a look at what we have got with these moulds. There's more samples to show you too, because I mean, like, like I said, the guys have done amazingly fantastic on these samples. Now, on the top row, you have got your first two options of this fantastic owl, owl tails, or the butterfly dance, right? So you've got either of those two. They're under one item number, which is 153927, and they're 1999 each. Now, underneath this, we've got the other three options under a different item number. Uh, each option here, look, look at these, I mean, aren't they gorgeous? Is 18.99, and it's 635.853. So you've got the, uh, the horse, <laughs> I love the names, the Swan Dream, and then the Rising Phoenix. Doesn't that remind you of a certain wizarding film or whatever? Also, just to say, um, quick mention that we have got our Easter Extra Flexi. Had to remember what that was called. Um, your Flexi Buy Basket is going to go from £60 to £30 for this event, which is so cool. So, just so you know. Now, you can... Get the complete collection at £88.95, which most of you are going for. You can also spread the cost. That's another thing that we've done with FlexiBuy. We've uh, popped it to three payments, £29.65, 953787. Core! We're already over a quarter of the complete collection gone. Amazing. So remember we have got, oh yes, I must just tell you this, everything's dispatched from the 20th of April. Not too long to wait. But now without further ado, I'm going to leg it, social distancing and all that. Are you ready? I'm ready. She's ready. Go! <laughs> run Alex, run! Run, run! <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited about this. I really, really am. And, you know, I've got to say, Sophie, I hope you're watching. Um, Zuri, it's a, a company from the United States, brand, brand new. Uh, I'll just tell you a little bit about the company itself. Run by Sophie and her husband. I think a friend has been drafted in to help now as well because they're still holding down other jobs as well. But we've got something very, very special here. Now, before I go on any further into the demonstrations, I want to tell you a little bit about the moulds as well. They are absolutely extraordinary the quality is exceptional they're food grade they will withstand heat and cold you can actually bake your polymer clay in the oven inside the mold if you want to do that you can take your, your clay out of the mold we've got various different clays to work with we've got air drying we've got air dry polymer we've also got the polymer that you bake as well now the samples have been made using different clays and i will talk to you about the different clays as we go through but what i can say is anybody that's going for these you you are not going to be disappointed, not at all. Um, and um, it's an absolute pleasure for me to be doing this as well, I've got to tell you. So, shall we get into demo? Can we do that? Just details on the screen, just a reminder there about the complete collection, because I know it's busy already. We have got those three flexi payments, 29.65. You're making a saving there. I'm not surprised most of you are going for the full collection, because how can you choose? There is just one thing I want to just point out a little bit more, if I can, because I know Elvin, our, our wonderful horse, is not just any old horse. Just have a look at the detail in this one. Look at the top of the horse's head. Look at the mane. It's a mystical creature. Isn't that fantastic? It really, really is. The detail 
in these molds is absolutely incredible. Now we do have another show at 11 o'clock, but I want to get into demo as quickly as possible so we can tell you more about these molds and the clays that we're going to use as well. If we're all right to do that, phone lines are busy. Do go to the website if you can. That's the quickest and the easiest way to shop. There we go. Right, okay. Now we do have queues, as I say, on the phone line. So if you can get to the website, that is the quickest and easiest way. But it's entirely up to you. If you want to hang on there, we will get you on the phone lines as well. Demonstration time. Right, okay. Now the moulds themselves, you've probably noticed, are, are a lovely dark blue colour. That doesn't matter what colour they are. It's the quality that counts and the detail that's in there. They're very, very sturdy. But when I say that, very flexible as well. These are made to last. Look at the thickness of the moulds. There's nothing flimsy about these at all. Now I'm working to start with, with air dry clay, which we do have on the show. Uh, we do have the hearty soft. Now I'm just going to, I know a lot of you have seen me work with clay in the past many a time, but for anybody new to this, I'm just going to talk you through the use of the clay and how to deal with it initially. So when you take it from the pack, give it a stretch because there's moisture in there and you want to really, it makes it smoother, it's quite fibrous when you first take it from the pack, but if you give it a bit of a stretch, you'll see it becomes more malleable. Now, another thing about the clay is as well, you will find that some clay packs seem a little bit wetter than others, and when you stretch it, it releases that moisture and it becomes a little bit more sticky, so to speak. It doesn't leave a residue on your hands, and it doesn't feel sticky in itself, but what I mean is, if I take two pieces there and put them together, can you see how they just hold? So you don't need any glues at all. So my top tip, if you're using the air dry clay, is to allow that clay to dry a little bit before you put it in your mould, especially when you've got fine detail. Now you can, of course, get the heart clay on the show. We've got a twin pack available for you. So that's 400 grams in total. There's 200 in each pack. 400 grams of the air dry clay for just 17.99. Item number 040721. Now all I've done there is just roll that out a little bit with a rolling pin, just to show you. This is what I do when I get my clay ready. That allows the surface to dry out a little bit, give it a flip over, leave it just for a few minutes. You don't need to leave it a long time. Um, and that will just dry out the surface a little bit. Another good tip is to use some corn flour, or if you're in the US, cornstarch, into the mold, because it will help release the clay. Now, I will be honest, when I'm at home, I tend not to do this. I just prefer the clay to dry a little bit more. But when we're here in the studio, then it's, it's nice, you know, to give you all the tips that we can do. Now, I'm going with the air dry clay, and because we've got fine detail, and I'm working with the Phoenix here, which is absolutely gorgeous, there's very fine detail. There's little claws there. There's the neck on the Phoenix, there's the beak. So we're talking about small areas. So what I tend to do is kind of roll the clay a little bit and then push it in gradually. You could go with a big blob and kind of just disperse it around, but I find it easier if I shape it a little bit. And don't worry, about going in in separate pieces. You don't have to go in with one full piece. Just make sure you spend a bit of time really pushing this into the mould. Now, if, if it was a nice circular shape or something like that, it would take less time to feed the clay in. But I'm, I'm saying to you for your own, your own purpose here, for the best results, spend a bit of time really making sure that you push this clay into the moulds properly. You can use a tool if you want. I'm not. I'm just going to use my fingertips simply because I want everybody to see that they can achieve this. If I start bringing out tools that we haven't got available and using those, then some of you may think, well, do I need that? No, you don't. You could use things like the end of a paintbrush if you wanted to, just the round end of a paintbrush, just to help push in if you want. I'm sure everybody's got paintbrushes. But we want to just make sure that we fill this mould nicely to the top. I am going to use a rolling pin to go over the top. It's not essential, but it does ensure that it, you know, the clay will pick up all of the details that it possibly can. Now I'm just paying particular attention to the wings there. Can you see in that fine detail where the feathers are in the wings? I want to make sure the clay goes right in there. 
Now I can tell just by pressing here that I've got one or two little delves where it's not built up quite enough. So I can go back in with a little bit more clay. And at this point, I'm going to start going over the top. Now you can see then, I've done this on purpose so you can see. If I go over the top there, can you see it's not touching that? That's because there's still a delve there. So if you've got a rolling pin, use it. Make sure that you fill up the mould because it will make sure that all the detail is then picked up. Let's just go over the top again. So it's start. Can you see what's happening now? You can see it's starting to go over the edge where the excess clay is. So where you've got that, just use a thumb or a finger just to sort of smooth that away because you want that nice, neat outline. You don't want anything overhanging. So I'm just going to keep pushing that down, just neatening that up as I go. I'm just going to go with a little bit more clay down here as well. And then we're ready to take this out of the mould. Right, now at home you've got more time. I'm going to make this do. I could go a little bit further, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go with that, make sure that's all pushed down. And then I wanted to clean up the edges a little bit. Now an important point with the Phoenix is you've got some little posts that appear. They're the gaps in between the claws and the legs of the Phoenix. So you can just use your finger just to pull away from those areas. Any bits that look as though they're posts that are sticking up are little gaps in between feathers and feet. So all I'm doing now is going in with a fingertip away from the edge just to pull that clay back and tidy up. That means that if there's any overhanging clay there, then it's, you're cleaning it up now. If you find you miss any bits, you can treat that afterwards. You can just cut it away with a pair of scissors, but the neater you get this initially, really, the better the effect. Especially around the head of the phoenix there. Can you see where the feathers are? Right, okay. So I'm now ready to release this from the mold. So what I'm going to do is just go around the edge, just flexing a little bit. Now the, the weak point is going to be the legs there, so I want to be careful of that. Can you see that the clay is starting to lift? That's because I allowed it to dry a little bit first. If you don't allow it to dry and you're flexing the mold and the clay is just stretching, then your clay is too wet. So you could allow it just to dry in the mold itself a little bit before you take that out. Now I'll just put that onto the back of there. Let's have a look at the detail in this. Isn't that incredible? Absolutely incredible. But I'm going to take this a step further. I'm going to bring in one of the samples that I did. Now this was just a glass vase. I painted it. Um, there's various paints that will work on all so sorts of surfaces. But if you look at the Phoenix, Phoenix tail, I've extended it. So think about ways that you can adapt, adapt the moulds as well. So I'll show you how I did that, because it's very, very easy. Obviously, we've got the Phoenix there, so I'm just going to pop that to one side. And then I'm going to go back in again and feed the clay just into the tail area. Now, it doesn't matter if I get a little bit more than I need, because you can always trim away. So again, just push it in. I'm just, I am purposely going to extend a little bit past where I need, because I find it easier to trim away what I don't want rather than, you know, try and guess it accurately. So again, just make sure that you're pushing that clay into all those crevices. Let's just go with a rolling pin over the top. And then I can see there again, a little bit of excess clay there so I can smooth that away or take it away. Pull it right off if I want to. Any time that you just pull away too much, you can always just push it back again. Oh, we've had a question from Ian as well. Now he's asking, are the moulds suitable for the uh, two-part resin? Yes, they are. They're suitable for resin, suitable, as I said, food grade as well. Um, your hot glue, your UTs, oh, so many different substances. If you, if you are going to use them for your food, then obviously for food safety, we recommend that you get two sets. Right, okay, so I'm just going to now just release this one as well. I could tidy up that a little bit more, but just for this, the purpose of demonstration, we'll leave it at that. Again, just flexing around the edge, you can see how that is lifting. And there we've got another area that we can work with. Well, obviously I don't want another set of claws, we don't need those. So I'm just going to cut away 
with a pair of scissors the area that I don't want. You can reuse that clay and then I will start to build up. So now I'm extending and this gives you more of a three-dimensional look. So now I've got two layers. I'm going to do one more which I will add to the tail but there's also another purpose for it as well. If you look at the tail of the phoenix and you think well the phoenix rising from the ashes you could use the tail feathers as flames as well they make great flames think about using your molds in other way think about um, maybe using them as leaves all sorts of different ways you can adapt these uh, take just the flowers from the swan maybe take just the leaves from the swan you don't have to use the whole of the mold each time so very i'm just trying to be as quick as i can on this one because i've got so much to show you so there we go let's just i am rushing this because i am conscious of time and now it just goes so quickly and i've got so much i want to get in whoops just press that down and let's flex this one as well there we are and straight away you can see we've got the other layer if I turn it that way, can you see how you could turn that into flames as well if you wanted to? It could be hair. It could be hair. Right, so I'm just going to apply this one underneath, which is going to complete my phoenix. Just by using extras of the feathers. Think about something like a recycled bottle. I could have done it with the vase. You could have the tail feathers going right around something. You know, really make, really make something very, very pretty and uh, very different. That's the thing. These are different. I know it's not a great word to use, but <laughs> it's the only word I can think of at the moment. Now, I am going to let that dry. At 11 o'clock, I'll be working with that some more, but we need that to dry out a little bit. Um, now, before I go to the next demonstration, we're just going to remind you about our Easter Extra event, because that is going on currently, of course. So let's give you some details on that. Welcome to Hochanda's Easter Extra Flexi event. Join us from 6 p.m. Thursday the 9th of April to 6 p.m. Tuesday the 14th of April as we'll be offering you an extra special treat to help ease the cost of your Easter purchases. All of your crafting favourites will be here with us celebrating the Easter break by demonstrating and showcasing their latest products. So, not only will we reduce the flexi basket value from £60 to £30, but you will also be given the opportunity to spread the cost of your purchase over three exciting flexi buy payments instead of two. So, get cracking and take advantage of our Easter Extra Flexi event from the 9th of April at 6pm. Well, it is super bit. You're all up early, aren't you? It's only blooming seven o'clock in the morning, right? Now, half the stock of our gorgeous complete collection has gone. Now, it's also lovely because we've made it affordable for you on three flexi buy payments of £29 and some change. Uh, these are the wonderful moulds. I mean, you've just been seeing uh, Catherine using them and gosh, the images are absolutely incredible. Uh, now, if you want to, you can get them individually so we'll break it down for you so you can either get mr owl here love him or the butterfly dance they're under one item number here it is one five three nine two seven and each option is 19.99 now your butterfly dance uh, is three quarters gone on its own now we can also break down the bottom three as well so we've got our fantastic horse our beautiful swan and our glorious phoenix okay the phoenix is limited stock on its own just 18 pounds and 99 pence uh, for any of those three six three five eight five six but of course what most of you are going for is the fantastic complete collection just look at these samples again a big thank you uh, uh, to Joe Channon and her other half, Mark, uh, for doing a lot of these samples. Obviously, Catherine's been doing them as well. And then, I mean, gosh, hang on, let me bring this in. I've got it upside down, but I just need to turn it around. Look at this beautiful swan. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, what else have we got? We've got our beautiful horse. Sorry, I just want to carefully put them down because they're, they're just such works of art, aren't they? <coughs> but that's the thing. The moulds are doing the hard work for you. 
I personally, you know, I, I know I couldn't freeform this one. I mean, but just look at all of that detail going on there. I've got to get this because this is right up my street. This is so me. Look at this with the steampunk butterflies. Amazing, amazing. I like you know, using halves of the wings as well. Isn't that cool? What else have we got? Let me pop that down. Did I show you the glass earlier on? Have a look at this. How stunning is this? Now, I will ask Catherine in a sec if she knows the answer, whether we're allowed to make to sell with our gorgeous moulds. Or do we know? We don't know. OK, maybe we can we'll find out. We'll, yeah. we'll check that with the buyer in the... Um, oh, sorry to put you on the spot there, Catherine. OK, sorry. OK. Now, Zuri aren't widely available in the UK. But let's have a look. Oh, I can hear the phone going off <laughs> in my ear. We'll find out. Uh, wait, wait, wait. And look, we've got this beautiful one isn't that amazing absolutely again um uh, a quick reminder that they're being dispatched from the 20th of april uh, so as i said a lot of you are uh, going for the complete collection three payments of 29 pounds and 65 pence a uh, look at these gorgeous moles nine five three seven eight seven is your item number lovely do give us a call oh one seven double three six zero two thousand or check out on the website at hachanda.com but um look amazing amazing deal you've got on this and just a fantastic molds cannot wait to see your works of art when you get them home uh, back to you catherine <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Now, let me tell you about some of the clays we've got on offer as well, because we've got a pick and mix on the coloured hearty for you as well. Great price here, any three for £13.99. You can see you've got the yellow, the magenta, the blue, the black, the red and the green. Uh, there are various ways of colour in your clay, even if you're just going for the white. But if you want a true black and a true red and a true dark green, that's the only way you're going to get it. Because obviously mixing red into white is going to give you pink every time. But also what's interesting about these as well is you need the tiny tiniest tiniest bit to make a difference of course you can go into the molds with a solid color as well so you can go straight from the pack I just want to point out an end of call item as well which is very very useful I'll show you when we get back to demo there's a color chart and a little measuring um, oh, gadget thing so if you want to be able to mix your colors and get it right every time then pop that into your basket at end of call as well i will show you what i'm talking about when we get to demonstration but great price there 516165 is the item number if you want to go for the colored hearty great to have a pick and mix on those then next we have of course the white this is what you're going to use more than anything the white on its own because you can of course color with your different paints hopefully we'll get to doing a little bit of that during this hour as well now you're getting two packs here there's 200 grams in each it's super lightweight this is this is professional this is a professional grade modeling clay it's very very strong it picks up every bit of detail as you've seen from the molds two packs at 200 grams each so in total 400 grams for just 17.99 and almost half of the stock has already gone remember we do have another show at 11 o'clock so grab yours while you can now we do have another clay for you. This is the Medina air dry polymer clay. Now it says white on there. It's kind of a slightly off white color. This is fabulous because if you like the strength of polymer clay, if you like, and I'll, again, I'll explain the difference when we get to the demonstration or show you the difference as best I can. But with this, this gives you a polymer clay effect. The strength of that, something more, more robust, a little bit more weighty, but you don't have to bake it in the oven. Now you can color this as well. You can paint on top of it you can mix color in there it's almost unbreakable you can make all sorts of things with it it's a fabulous product but it's very very different to the air dry because it's not lightweight like the air dry so it depends on the use that you want but I love that if I'm applying to furniture or to home decor pieces and I want that durability that is a great option 11.99 for 250 grams 641548 then one of my favorite favorite products of all time has got to be the female modeling clay now this is oven bake but that doesn't mean it's difficult everybody can use this you don't need specialist equipment you can put this in your own home oven these are big blocks now when i'm saying big blocks cut this 454 grams for just 11.99 you're saving four pounds and you've got the choice of the black or the white there we're going to be using some of this in a little while 277 161 
all sorts of techniques you can do with polymer clay. I really do hope I get a chance to do more shows with you. But for now, choose between the white or the black. You can go for both because there is a difference, obviously, and you can mix those together and get your clays in your grey colours as well, which are great bases to work from with your other mediums. There we are. Now we're off to the website next because you'll find everything there. We've got other mediums available as well. We've got some paints, we've got glazes, we've got all uh, oh, the galaxy flakes are in there as well. Oh, the Pentart liquid metal is fabulous. Hopefully I'll get to show you that in a little while. Um, really, really good. You're getting, you're getting all three of those. Three, all three. These are fabulous and these go a long way as well. I've literally just managed to get hold of mine. Uh, so these are new to me too, but they are amazing. Now then, let's see what else we can show you in demonstration. demonstration. Now the Fimo. This is what I'm using next. Now, Fimo is very different to the air dry clay. It comes in a pack, it's not air dry. You do need an oven, which I'll, I'll speak more about in a second. When you take this from the pack, it does say Fimo soft on it, which it is. There's different types of Fimo. Um, it is firmer and it's completely different to the hearty. Now, what I have at home is a, a pasta machine which I use not only for softening and mixing colours, I use it for techniques as well. But because I like to show you on air ways of working with the clays without those tools, because not everybody would have them, I'm going to talk through exactly what you'd do without any tools at all. So take the clay from your pack, you need to condition it, and by conditioning it, I am simply mean you need to warm it up. So all I'm doing is rolling it backwards and forwards on my mat. I could use a rolling pin if I like, and I'm just going to do that and get it warm. And you will laugh at me if I tell you that sometimes I put this in a plastic bag and sit on it because that warms it up. You can do that. Don't be tempted to warm it up by putting it on a radiator because you bake this, it will make it go crumbly. Um, you can have a hot water bottle with a cover on it with not too much intense heat and sit it on top of there to, to get it soft as well. But you want to make it malleable. And by malleable, the stage you want it at is if I just roll this out into a bit of a sausage and pick it up, you can see it's got that nice bend. If I twist that and roll it and it's not cracking, then it's, it's conditioned. If you find it cracks or it breaks apart, you need to condition it more. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in another one of the moulds and I'm going to go for the, the butterfly dance this time. So let's go for this one at the top. Now again, you could, just with a little bit of corn flour, you could use a little bit of oil with your polymer clay as well. Uh, I prefer to take the clay out of the mould before I bake, but you can actually bake these in the oven. It will not damage them. So I'm just going to start to push the clay in here as well. It's a little bit firmer, even though I've conditioned it, a little bit firmer than the, the hearty soft. But do you know what? It picks up the detail beautifully. Now those little tiny bits at the bottom, I'm going to come back to those in a second. So again, I'm not using any particular tools, just my fingers and thumbs to push into place. And again, it doesn't matter if you don't do this in one go. You can go in with lots of little individual pieces. The only thing you've got to watch is that you make sure that all the clay is compacted down into the mould to pick up every bit of detail. And any joints where you have put different pieces of clay in are going to disappear. So I'm really now taking my time just to push into these delicate little areas. And I find the best way of doing that, again, roll out your clay, make it more to the shape that you've got so it fits in nicely. And possibly on this one, I would use a little tool just to make sure that's really gone into the mould. And again, you can see that you can easily just scrape away any excess. So, now if you were using the hearty, the hearty soft, as I said earlier, if your clay is too wet, you'll find that it stretches with the mould. The polymer clay will to a point. Uh, a good tip is if your polymer clay has got too soft, either bake straight into the oven with the clay in the mould or pop it in your fridge so the clay goes a bit harder and then it will come out easier. So the more that you push this around, the more that you're using your fingers with it, the warmer it's getting and then it makes it more, st more sticky. I say sticky, it doesn't feel sticky but I, it, it is, it's, it sticks to itself. Right, so we've got the butterfly in there. Again, I would spend a bit of time just neatening up the edges 
just to make sure that we've got that nice clean outline and then star fleck and what I'm just going to weigh around the edge of the butterfly a little bit bearing in mind these are going to be the weak points where they're thinner but let's just gently ease that out and there we go look at that isn't that fabulous so all you need to do then is pop that onto a baking tray and put it in your normal oven your regular oven Femo about 110 degrees if you've got a fan oven for 30 minutes it's only a low heat if it's um, a gas oven it's about mark half a mark I think that's all it is half an hour is all you need and just let it bake when it's baked it's then hard so it's robust the more we can do with it because I'll just bring in one of these little jars I've painted now this has actually got a candle still in there so I wouldn't put this in the oven, but if you've got an empty jar, you can just this piece round and bake in the oven so it takes to the shape. So I'm just going to bring in, actually, something that I've already done. I've got two identical vases. Well, they were identical. They were both a pound each. I got them from a supermarket a while ago. Pound each. This one's been painted with an all-purpose paint. But before I did that... I made the swan, which we're going to be using more in the 11 o'clock show. And I placed the swan, as I've just shown you there with the butterfly, to shape to the vase. So if I just roll that to its side, can you see how that's working and fitting onto that vase? And I baked that in the oven as well. So I left the clay in situ while it was in the oven. And then, of course, if you want to decorate your vase, which mine's not finished yet, but that is then going to sit on the front of my vase. Doesn't that look lovely? Do you know, I don't really want to do anything more to that. I love it as it is. But I am going to show you something else. I am going to do something else to it because if you want to bring the detail out, there are various things that you can do. So I'm just going to move out the way that little butterfly because I don't want to squash that. And I'm going to bring in, oh, what have I got that I can show you? Right, we've got the phoenix again here. Let's go with this phoenix. Oh, actually, I could go with that butterfly that's done. Let's go with this butterfly. Uh, now, I've got some, where is it? I've got some paint, some chalk paint. It doesn't have to be chalk paint, an acrylic paint, a black acrylic paint. It could be a grey, it could be a brown, it could be whatever you want it to be. Just going to, this is more of a, a dark grey, actually, than a black. I'm just going to water this down. So I want it quite runny. I don't want it too much paint. And you can do this on your dry air dry as well as your, your polymer clay. So all I'm going to do now, I've got a wet cloth. You can use a wet wipe, but a wet cloth is good. Something that's not going to leave fibres everywhere. And what I'm going to do is just paint all over the top of my butterfly. You don't have to do it all in one go, actually. You can do this in stages. So the bigger the piece, the more stages I would do it in. And then I'm going to take my cloth and just wipe away and I'm just taking away the majority of that paint so what it's doing it's bringing out the detail underneath can you see the difference from one side to the other and the more that dries the better it will look just going to add a little bit more to the other side so we can match it all in so everybody can achieve this because of the quality of the moulds because everybody's got access to a simple paint and water everybody can achieve this and it's a way of bringing out detail without even adding further color just going to clean that up a little bit more I'll just get a paper towel and just dry the surface of that off because I'm going to show you how you can add more color now as you can see as I'm drying that off the white is really coming back through and of course if you've got the black clay whether it be the hearty or the polymer clay you can do a wash with a white paint and do it in the reverse so it really does bring the detail out when you do that on the horse especially oh, it's just incredible we'll probably use the horse on the 11 o'clock show as well so painting techniques let me just talk to you about those because we've got the li liquid metal um, I've brought my Inca Gold with me as well, which is fabulous. That's from Viva Decor. That's fabulous for working with this as well. Uh, but let's have a look at the new liquid metals because these are just amazing. Now, they are solvent-based. They're not water-based. They're solvent-based. You're getting three. Give them a shake. Um, 
there's a little bit of a smell to them because they're solvent based but a little goes such a long way and I mean a little so we've got the I think it's the copper what can be the ball bearings in that one I didn't turn with them in the others they're in there maybe not shaking hard enough there we go give them a really good mix actually that's a good tip keep shaking it till you hear the the ball bearings it's coming out can hear it then you know it's mixing right so I'm going to go with the gold just take the lid off because I've been shaking it just want to be a little bit careful now as often uh, very often I just tend to work from the lids so I'm going to put the the main pot out of my way a little bit and find a brush and I'm just going to pick a little bit of the gold up on the brush and I'm not going to go straight in I am going to dab that onto my mat just so I know I haven't got too much on there and then I'm just going to gently sweep that across the top of my butterfly now this is the other butterfly that you get in the mold you get two butterflies in the one mold the detail again in this is just stunning now hopefully I'm hoping this is coming across really well because you if you look at this wing here you can't really see anything because this is black polymer clay you can do the same thing with the air dry uh, but as I sweep across it's starting to really bring the detail out now the liquid metal is very very busy 60% of the stock has gone 60% this is brand new today I believe um, yes it is I've just had that verified it is amazing I've got to say I'm going to be using this so much now and you can see that look at the detail in that butterfly each wing is different you've got two different size sides to it so if you wanted to split it down you could do if you wanted to use half a wingers marked it on one of the samples you could do but these as I said are something very very special just picking up a little bit more gold there and just brushing across the top again should we try the other colours? I think we need to, don't we? Shall, we? shall we try them all? Right, what have I got? I've got the other butterfly here, also in the black. No, do you know what? I'm going to go with the swan. Just decided. Let's have a look at the swan. Now I'm going to go for the silver. We'll do a bit of every colour so you can see it. Now the swan is um, another mould that I will be using at 11 o'clock and I will be adapting the mould, so please make sure you tune in at 11 as well so what I'm going to do with the swan is with the silver I'm just again just it's almost dry brushing oh because I'm now showing you this liquid metal it's on limited stock limited stock already wow we're literally down to single figures single figures don't miss out this is the silver that I'm using now I'm going to do a little bit of each colour while we've got it. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Oh, I can't. Can I keep using it, Meg? Is it all right? Right, we'll do it because we've got the moulds still available. Let's just give you those three colours so you can see. I think what I'll do, I'll go with a little bit of the gold while I've got the lid off. And we'll pick out maybe some of the leaves. So if you wanted to more than brush the top, you can and I've not changed my paintbrush here so I'm kind of getting a mix of the silver and the gold together oh I really like that see try things don't always change your brush I get laughed at sometimes because <laughs> I, get, I get laughed at sometimes because I don't I have mucky sponges and brushes but actually <laughs> sometimes it goes in your favor I'm mixing these up now let's have a look so it's bringing out the detail in the leaves it's a bit more gold there now this the phone's going off in the gallery i don't know what's happening it's very very busy out there it's constant phone calls um which is meaning that it's very very busy out there right okay so there we've got the gold leaves let's bring out the detail in the flowers with the copper just so you can see all the different colors and I'm using the same brush again so who knows what I'm going to get it will be kind of a little bit of a mix and again the oh oh I like the copper oh lucky people who've got this that's all I can say Sam well done Sam is uh, our buyer she uh, found these for me 
I asked if we could have something metallic that we could use on the, the clays. These are fabulous. Oh, now, just hearing. Uh, the phone call that I've just heard, good news actually, good news for everybody. We've got some more of the liquid metal on extended delivery. You need a couple of extra days. These are coming, well, I'm not sure where they're coming from actually. They're going to be dispatched from the 22nd of April. Everything else is the 20th of April. It's only a couple of days. Um, I know Sam, our buyer, is working very hard. She's working at home at the moment, but she's working very hard. <laughs> and I've just offended <laughs> I've just offended Meg in the gallery because she's working very hard as well <laughs> oh dear Meg you, you do it you're doing amazingly and so is so is Andy our director right so we've got <laughs> we've got the copper there I'm going to paint the little beacon on the swan in the copper as well and I'm thinking let's have a look at just mixing the colors up a little bit let's go with uh, a little bit of the silver these dry very very quickly let's just go over the top of that copper on one of the flowers with a bit of silver as well because it's going to change the cut so it differentiates between the two flowers then please tune in at 11 and see what I do with this one if I had to pick a favourite, I don't think I could, but I do really have a soft spot for this one. Now, that looks great, doesn't it? Now, I've got a little bit of a smudge that I didn't really want there, but it doesn't matter. I can make that work. Uh, oh, right, you need to be quick on the liquid metal. Already half the stock, the extended stock, has gone. So please be quick with that if you want it. It is fabulous. I'm so impressed with that. I really am. It's the first time I've ever used it. Yes, first time I've ever used it live and I'm so pleased it went well. <laughs> right, I'm just going to pop that to one side. Um, so you've, see, you've seen different things that I've done there. I'm going to bring back in the butterfly that I've used the paint wash on where I brought the detail in. Just because I know it's busy anyway on the uh, liquid metal there, so don't, you know, don't miss out on that. But there are other things you can use as well. We've got other waxes on the show. Um, let's have a look at those as well now then we've got the chameleons where have I put mine here they are now I've got one here which is the peach if I just bring in this sample and show you now we've two options on the waxes uh, if I show I kept a lot of my samples quite muted quite soft which I really really like so we've got do you know it's worked out so well because Mark's done the samples with Joe's guidance thank you again guys brilliant work and there's quite um, colourful or there's a lot of metal sort of effects in there I've also used them but a lot of my samples are kind of softer so we've got that nice balance uh, you know we've kind of got a bit for everybody I think but looking at this here very very subtle in colour so you can see I've kind of got that peachy colour. There's a little bit of green in there as well. Now there's different ways you can colour on top of your air dry and also your poly polymer. Now let me just give you the colour options for these. Peach, violet and blue is the first one. Set of three, 20 millilitres each. These are going to go a long way. 638467, just 1399. The second set is the green, the white gold, and also the silver. Oh, and it's sparkling silver as well. It's really, really nice. You might have seen Julia Watts using these. Uh, there you are, different item number. Liquid metal, uh, limited stock on the extra stock. It's not going to last. We're not going to have this for the next show. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Oh, well done. Right. If you missed out on that, don't worry. There's other things you can do. Right, now then, the chameleon wax. These are great because they look different. They're great for your card as, as well. Your clay, your card, you're going to get a different colour on black as you do to white. I will tell you that on the white clay, um, it's very, very subtle. So if I just paint on a little bit onto this flower, you may not even barely see it at the minute, but it is there. It is there. So I'm just using a brush just to pick out some colour. Hopefully you can see this coming through now. Now I do do the wash before I put the wax on because I like to see that detail. I've maybe missed a little bit there, but we'll not worry about that. So a little bit of colour there. Very, very subtle. I don't know if you can see that actually. 
can you see I'm going to hold that to the front so we can pick it out a little bit more on the shimmer it's not dry yet and you can buff it up when it's dry but it keeps it very very soft but let's go on to the black and see the difference the more that dries the more it's going to uh, to shine up uh, now we've got a question in from Kelly Jean she's asking what paint brushes I'm using these are Royal and Lamb Nickel uh, which I think do we sell those still I think we had them on the website we did I don't know if we still do if we haven't got them in stock but what I would say is regardless of the brand just go for a good quality paintbrush um, I can't say that enough there is a massive difference between your brushes go for a well-known brand go for something that you know is you know going to be a good quality one these are soft bristles you don't want anything that's scratchy that goes the same if anybody's been following me doing my decorating don't ever buy cheap paint brushes you don't get the same results okay so if I just put those two together look at the difference same wax very very subtle on there I can see it more than you're probably seeing it but it shows up a lot more on the black clay so I'm going to bring in another color I think we've got the green here somewhere let me find my green right I know we're getting towards the end of this hour as well so I'll just do this bit and then we'll probably just have to give one or two reminders so look at the green just picking the leaves out here so if you mixed missed out on the liquid metal this is a good option for you to go for the waxes and you have of course got these for use on your cardstock as well isn't that lovely that green that is really really nice this again is polymer clay but it will work on your air dry as well let me just put a little bit of the green onto the white and again it's going to be very very subtle but it does show up the more color you put on the more you actually see it i'll just do that one side for you so you can see there, what a difference now it is there now I hope for the next show what I'll do I'll finish that I'll paint it and I'll, once it's dry properly I'll buff it up so you can see the colors better uh, but I just wanted to show you the waxes as well because they are a great alternative if you've missed out on the liquid and you want more color as well oh, still busy out there <laughs> right now i've got uh i think i'm allowed a few more minutes just while i'm here what else can i show you that i've got done right okay i'm going to make a start on elvin our horse because i'm going to go back to my wash just because i want you to see the detail in this one if you are going for individuals um if you've got a budget and you can't afford everything and you're struggling to think well i like them all which one am i going to go for the more i can show you probably the more the easier it is for you to choose most of you are going for the full collection you have got that saving we've also got that of course that uh, event running as well we've got three payments on flexibuy so it really does split the cost down so a little bit of water into my wash again and so it's just an acrylic paint and I'm going to go over again. This is a grey rather than a black. You can go with a black. It doesn't really matter. You can go with brown if you like as well. I'm just going to do the top bit. The trick when you're doing this is to make sure you get into all of the detail. But don't let it dry too much. Because if it dries too much, you're not going to be able to get rid of it. So do it in stages if you like. So let me just wipe away. Just on the top. I want you to be able to really see look at this look at the detail that's coming out there let me get this paper towel and just dry that off a little bit for you now you can really see the white of the clay coming through but the wash is staying in the detailed areas look what it picks out on the horse's face look at the eye look at the nose and the mouth you can see the muscle in the face it brings out every bit of detail it's absolutely stunning let's do a little bit more i've literally got uh, about a minute left i'll finish this off afterwards and we'll do more with this horse in the next show uh, but just to show you again i've not really got into all the detail there but if you miss bits you can go back in once you've wiped it over you can go back in I want to show you how you can get the best out of your moulds without doing anything that you know is unachievable for people. Everybody could do this. 
again there you can start to see the detail come out i will finish this off ready for the next show or i might finish it off in the next show actually so you can see it as it's uh, in its entirety there but that is just fabulous love that mold that is gorgeous let's have a look at the website what have we got for you there of course you've got your clay uh, we've got an individual block for 9.99 but if you're going for that bundle two blocks for 17.99 that's 400 grams of clay your femo if you've never used it before i'm always there online um, on social media if you want to ask questions if you need any help i'm always willing to help you I'm afraid the liquid metal has gone. Do go for the chameleon wax though. That is an amazing, amazing product as well from Pentart. In fact, we've got loads of goodies there for you. Jolly marvellous. Right, hasn't it been a really busy hour? Amazing, uh, so good. Right, again, I'm gonna pick up some gorgeous, cool, that's heavy. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> Bingo wings. Anyway, have a look at, uh, look at him. He's our gorgeous phoenix. Look at all that detail. It is incredible. These molds are amazing. Excuse me while I'm a weakling and put this down. That's <laughs> so heavy, I wasn't expecting that. Um, again, let me show you this gorgeous owl. I love him. That's very clever, I think, popping those in for his eyes. I think that's just so cool. But again, look at all the detail that you've got. These molds are so sort of deeply etched, if you will, you know, like we say about stamps. I just think they are amazing. Got to go for our horse again. He's just too cool. These gorgeous samples, they're amazing. And aren't they fabulous with that uh, lovely sort of metal, I lo lo metal effect? I think that's so fabulous, isn't it? That's gorgeous, amazing. Right, let me just get our phoenix. One second, right. Here's our phoenix. Isn't that great? Just on, well, you know, one of those door, door handle plaques. I think that's just absolutely marvellous. Uh, cool. Well, our 60% of our complete collection is gone. Let me just bring this one up again. Isn't that fab? I like the soft colours too, as well as those metallic colours. I think they work really, really well. Uh, now, again, I'll break it down for you. Let's have a little go. Now, so the top two, if you want those, these are under the same item number. You choose between them. You've got your Fabulous Owl or you've got the Butterfly Dance. Each one of those are 19.99. is your item number. Then if you want the bottom three, uh, well, as in like individually, I should say. Now, the Phoenix sold out but it's back on extra extended delivery that one will be dispatched from the 22nd of April the other everything else that we've got on the show is from the 20th of April and then you've also got your fabulous horse or you've got your swan 18.99 individually but most of you of course are going for the complete collection not surprised because again just to point out we've got it on three flexi by payment cool this is a goblet and a half isn't it do you know what I'm thinking? They used as well, like part of one of the moulds and wrapped it around the base. It's the feathers. Yes, it's the feathers, it's Catherine's just said. How cool is that? So clever. And look at, look at the detail in him. He's, or oh, her, I don't know. Uh, absolutely stunning. What else haven't I shown you? What about adding a bit of the uh, flakes to it? Let's have a look at this beauty. If you like, if you like glitter, which obviously you all know that I do, I love my glitters. Look at that, that's fab. I've got another one here with our butterfly. Also too cool. Yay, amazing. Right, and then, uh, all right, I best give you that. I was going to quickly, quickly, quickly. Now, please join Catherine at 11 o'clock. It's been a super, super busy hour. You can spread the cost with the complete collection three ways instead of two, which again makes it more affordable. Uh, three payments of £29 and 65 pence. Item number is 953787. <laughs> Give us a wave, Catherine. <laughs> See you at 11. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Uh, again, you can give us a call 01733602000 or check out on the website at hachanda.com. Once you've got these home, please please send in your pictures of you know what what you've you know what you've made with them i'd love to see because as you can see these wonderful samples are amazing we want to see your makes well we are currently 
at home in our craft rooms. Uh, thank you very much for keeping myself and Catherine company. As I said, uh, make sure you're tuning in at 11 o'clock to see more demos.